Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. I have got a lot that I'm gonna go through in this video, so I'm gonna to try to go fast on this first thread. I just feel like it's important enough for you all to hear. Um, I got this from Michael at VAL5Links, and it's a thread from a guy who obviously knows what he's talking about. This guy's Raul Paul, um, Pal, maybe, founder CEO of Global Macro Investor and, and Real Vision Group. Um, so he, he's an e economic guy, investment strategist. He's got over 80,000 followers. The guy's obviously smart. I read through this and I want to read it to you. Um, a currency crisis when the long-term charts all start pointing to a single event risk. I pay attention. When those charts are at, at, at the key level, I focus. And when they break, it is time for action. Something really big is going on. We are at the most important juncture in FX markets in my entire 30-year career the dollar appears at risk of an uncontrolled rise let me show you now we're going through this quick folks but it is it, it this guy is on it the fed broad trade weighted dollar index is incredibly close to breaking breaking the enormous cup and handle pattern at 130 barely a, a half a percent away and this translates into the largest chart pattern in the history of fx the I, I'm, I'm gonna skip through some of this a pattern so big I can't quite get uh, my head around the outcome. A fall of 20% or more across all Asian major currencies, and we are right on the cliff of death. We are also at the key juncture on the JP Morgan Emerging Markets Currency Index. New lows await any day now. And one currency after another is approaching and then falling off the cliff of death. The Aussie broke a while ago and has been tumbling ever since. The flightless Kiwi took it, its first step off the cliff last night. The Korean won, yikes, this one was the most, this was one of the most cu crucial levels in its histories. These wedge, these big wedge patterns tend to resolve in explosive moves to new all-time highs. Um, the Canadian dollar looks like it is about to break the wedge for a rapid move. The, the Canadian dollar is going to very quickly get a lot weaker. Uh, the pound is drinking at the last chance saloon. It looks like it's going to parity. The euro has a few percent to go, but it's shuffling towards the cliff edge. And the big disturbance in the matrix is the CNY, which conceivably could go to new all-time lows. Highs on chart versus dollar. It's not my forecast, but that chart suggests a higher probability than anyone suggests, even if the odds are still low. It's, it is broken. And this currency crisis of dollar strength is causing an enormous deflationary wave globally. The CRB is literally second worst chart in the world after the EU banks, and we are right on the effing cliff of death right there today. I think oil breaks, breaks lower today. Gold is rightly doing its job, sniffing out a big problem, and is exploding higher, outperforming even the super strong dollar as gold begins to price in an end game of an eventual massive readjustment of the dollar in 12 months, 18 months. And Bitcoin is doing its job of suggesting an alternative system is gaining in probability. It trades like call option on a new system in my mind. The price moves are so enormous. And thus, the increase in probabilities are so fast that you have to use log charts. And the 10-year U.S. bond suggests that bond yields are going to zero as the deflationary wave spreads like wildfire. And, and short-term rates, twos, go to negative 2% or more. That's how you steepen the curve. Yikes. And that is how you totally F the banking system. The EU banks are right on the cliff of death. And the Japanese banks are right on the cliff of death, too. And that would be the end game for the pension system and huge loss of wealth for baby boomer retirees and the start of the doom loop of BBB downgrades and potential freezing of the corporate credit markets. You get the picture. Sadly, we are at one of the biggest junctures for markets in history. You may disagree with my assessment of the odds. It doesn't matter, but simply cannot ignore the risk. Bonds, dollars, Bitcoin, and gold. Thanks for paying attention and XRP, folks. Okay, 
I thought I had to show you that. Okay, next, um, I got some good stuff here. Um, this is, if I can get it to come up, this this was a uh, th this was a little dialogue from Otto von Biz Otto Gunger at Otto Gunger. Hi, Joel Katz and Crypto Cowboy. Quick question: Does Ripple do the software implementation all by themselves, or are they or are they now also sort of licensed third parties involved with your crew in the background? Thank you, Otto von Bismarck. Craig DeWitt, who's a nice guy. It really depends on what the customer wants. Ripple has a fantastic integration engineering team, but some customers, especially the big ones, rely on third parties for integration since they understand their complex custom systems. So we support that too. Awesome, thank you for your answer. Good luck for, for your mission. And then he, Craig DeWitt comes back in and says, our mission, we're driving towards a, a world where value can be moved as seamlessly information moves today. Um, you're part of that too. So you can see um, Ripple is, is trying their best to uh, let everybody know we're all part of the, on the team. Okay, um, and then this is interesting folks, you gotta see this. Uh, from XRP Honey Bear, at C underscore Mike 13, um, sent me this. Now this, I, you all have to stop what you're doing, even if you pause my video and go watch this. It's from at Thomas Schultz. Bitcoin is here to stay. He knows more than he lets, lets off. Now listen, what this is, folks, this is a video where they show you Kevin O'Leary uh, just bashing Bitcoin in 2019. This was yesterday, I believe, where he's on, or this, this particular video of him in 2019 may have been earlier when Anthony Pompliano was on earlier in 2019, but Kevin O'Leary is on this show constantly trying to bash Bitcoin and say, oh, this is a Ponzi scheme, it's nothing, and this is I just don't get it and all this. Well, somebody went and uncovered a vit clip of him in 2013, and let me tell you what, I wanna, this is how I'm gonna describe this for you. This is two thir 2013 CBC Bitcoin Volatility Kevin O'Leary. He is on, I guess, uh, I'm not sure what channel this is, let's see if it shows us. Um, he is on this channel, whatever this show is, and not only does Kevin, this is in two, this is six years ago, folks. This is in 2013, and if you listen to Kevin O'Leary in this clip, he gets Bitcoin. All of the things that we always talk about that are the reasons to understand why digital assets are, are here to save us all, um, in, in a, it, or, or at least those of us that, that are honest, he says everything that's good about digital assets and Bitcoin um, in this clip. He completely understands what, how great and, and how revolutionary that Bitcoin and digital assets are. He completely understands it. And when you watch this clip, you will know that this guy just flat out is lying to the public now on CNBC because he's not, this is not something, what he's talking about in this clip is philosophy, the philosophy of Bitcoin and, and why he totally gets it. He, he's talking about how the, the people that believe in Bitcoin, and, and he acts like it's him too, are that this is the people that are saying to these central banks, oh please, you guys, you totally, these central banks, they, they, have, they have lost the trust of the people. That's the kind of thing he's saying. He's telling the truth in this clip. And do you know what the difference is? The difference is the same thing that you see with Jim Cramer. I've told you before, Jim Cramer during the financial crisis, and I can show you the clip. Jim, there is a one to two minute clip where Jim Cramer was a thousand percent honest, and he said he he said you know nothing, and he was talking about the cent the central bank and all of them, and he 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 got out of line that one time and told the 1,000% truth and CNBC and all those powers that be reined him in and he's never spoken the 100% truth ever since and that's what Kevin O'Leary has done. He has, he has gone into the CNBC, the accepted club and he doesn't say what he really thinks but you need to watch this because when you watch this clip you will finally it, it all finally comes together what these people are up to, folks. This clip captures perfectly what these people are up to. They do not have an incentive to tell you the real deal. That is why 
going to YouTubers and people on Twitter and those of us that don't, that are not bought and paid for by these people are the people to listen to because we tell the truth. We don't have any reason not to tell the truth because we're in the struggle just like you are. We're the ones who have been burned by these people, all these Harvard graduates and the all of the all these Ivy League graduates that then immediately go to the central banks and they're all in the club, they they don't they look down on us folks. That's how they see us. These people aren't on our team. We're on our own team. We're out here trying to take care of our kids and survive while while we've got all these these central bank planner idiots that are manipulating the value of what we're trying to save to take care of our children and take care of our families. And, and they're going on television and they're lying to us. And it pisses me off. And that's why I want you, everybody, I'm going to read this guy's tweet. I want everybody and their brother and their sister and their family to go and watch this clip. This clip infuriates me because this proves... This guy is coming out and he's intentionally lying to people about what digital assets are. They all know, they all know what I've been trying to tell you on this channel for all this time. It's the truth. Digital assets represent the truth. It's honesty and, it, and it's, it's about to flip the script on these folks. This guy is at T-H-O-M-A-S-S-C-H-U-L-Z. Go watch this. Watch the first part where he's talking down to Anthony Pompliano, and then you go watch where he's telling the truth in 2013. This is before he was co-opted by CNBC and either told what to say or just he understood that now you're in the club, you better toe the line. Oh, it's disgusting what these people do. It makes me sick. Chinu Patel, at Chinu Patel 29, um, sent me this. Um, and this is, this is from the more recent clip with him talking to Anthony Pompliano. Remember, and he was, oh, he was talking so down to him. I teach this stuff. You never go beyond da, 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 da. Anyway, in a response to this video, this guy, and now Anthony Pompliano in the video had said that I'm just talking about Bitcoin here. Anthony Pompliano did not say that I'm not a fan of other digital assets. He's just doing the Bitcoin thing right now. But this C.L. Brown poetry came in and said something that's speaking the truth. So it's worthy of you hearing. Pump, how can you seriously think that Bitcoin will be the only winner? So you think this new asset class will comprise just one asset? Bitcoin? Seriously? You're a finance man. I'm a software and technology man. And I can tell you Bitcoin will not be the last man standing. And then he comes in and says this. This is what I totally agree with. Store of value, but like gold. But as, as we can see, no one is walking around with gold in their pockets going to get beef or burgers. Utility is key in the next phase. That's what I believe. I think, us, I think the we XRP holders are sitting here with something that is about to go ape. And it's because the next phase is utility. And nobody but XRP has the real commercial utility going yet. Utility is the key at, in the next phase and clearly where utility is concerned, BTC cannot stand up with the likes of XRP and soon ADA. I agree with that because those are the only other two that I own. Okay, and then Michael at VAL5 links came in. Uh, GBTC, which is the um, grayscale Bitcoin, um, the Bitcoin investment trust, which I own in my IRA. GBTC has yielded a growth of 2,721.3% since its introduction, massively outperforming a majority of the virtual asset funds backed by Grayscale. Now, if you think Wall Street is going to look at that while their stock market crumbles and not pay attention and not pour into it, then think again, folks. They're looking at it. You better believe it. Um, Pompliano came in with a good tweet. Public pension plans with $1 billion in assets targeted 7.25% long-term return last year. They missed the target and had a medium return of 6.79%. If they had 1% of their assets in Bitcoin, those public pension plans would have hit the target. Everyone must get off zero. <laughs> exactly. Okay, Rhythm, uh, Rhythm Trader, I love his tweets. Media on Bitcoin, 2010, what? 2011 laughs, 2012 laughs, 2013 laughs, 2014 laughs, 2015 laughs, 2016 
Bitcoin used by criminal, criminals, 2017 Bitcoin is a bubble, 2018 Bitcoin wastes energy, 2019 Bitcoin is safe haven and digital gold buy it. That escalated quickly. Actually, some of these, they, they were saying the criminal stuff way back here too, just as an FYI, but you kind of get the point. Then X-Men XRP at XRP33 sent me this. Um, <laughs> I love this guy. North Korea reportedly steals cryptocurrency to bankroll its nuclear program. Well, I think any good dictator worth his salt would do this. If I was a dictator uh, around the world, I would have, I would have a, a an entire factory of of uh, computer guy, computer hackers going out trying to steal cryptocurrency. If you're a dictator, that's just what you do. It's kind of like, it's kind of like being in the mafia. You you have to think of what your next scheme is going to be, and so why not fill a room full of hackers and try to steal crypto? <laughs> That's what you would do, right? <laughs> um, this is cool. Uh, from Mr. Caesar, at Caesar under, underscore Alpha Res. I'm sure it'll be worth at least $5.89 one day. I wanted to do this too. If anybody out there is going to um, be framing these kind of things, let me know because I will buy one. I want to have, a, I want to have one just like this. Um, and if any of you that are in this kind of a business, this is a great idea because I, and if you do decide to start framing these and selling them, not only will I buy one, but I'll talk about it on my channel because I think this is great. What he's got framed here, by the way, is the Dear Congress letter from um, Brad Garling, from Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson signed it. Please do not paint us all with a broad brush. I think this will be something that needs to be in my office, in my mansion one day. Um, so yeah, I'll buy one if you're selling them. Houdini Ripple Nini um, at Ripple Nini um, sent me this. And I thought this was funny. I, I don't know that I've ever talked about these guys on my channel before, but they're funny. They're called they they call themselves the Hodge Twins at Hodge Twins. But in this, uh, they, they did a video on here that this guy tweeted called XRP going to the moon. And this is one of the first things I saw this morning. And they made me laugh out loud. And these guys are a trip. They both look like they're huge, like muscle guys but they uh i saw this this is one of the first things i opened this morning and i just laughed out loud so i wanted to give them a shout out the hodge twins and they also have a youtube channel um so anyway they're xrp guys and finally from where's bob at bob in deep and i thought this was a great tweet the fastest way to find a guy with a gas powered leaf blower is to start recording a podcast um, and then it's got a whole bunch of people that have podcasts and what they're talking about is how they sit down to try to record their podcast and someone starts a, a gas power leaf blower out in a yard nearby. And for those of you that listen to my channel, you know that I can identify with that as a YouTuber. I'm a digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that Kevin O'Leary loves Bitcoin, but we never would have known that if they had not found that 2013 video. So he will go up on my thumbnail and I'm going to put XRP on his suit. Thank you for listening.